Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the next two issues of the Warhammer 40,000 Legends. It is a monthly subscription whereby it's £20 a month and they will send you two novels out of the 41st uh, millennium. Well, actually, sometimes out of the Horus Heresy um, era too. Uh, what you get, you don't know. It, it's a complete um, kind of surprise. I think uh, overall there will be 80 uh, books, I think roughly about 80 books uh, in the collection. So uh, two a month, that could well take about um, three three to four years. Uh, but uh, once the collection is uh, built up, you'll have a lovely um, piece of artwork uh, that covers all of the spine, spines of the books um, with the numbers. The only downside is you really don't know what book is behind that artwork, although sometimes the artwork is uh, similar. It gives a clue as to what that book is about, um, and I think that's a great little feature. So, so what I'm also going to do in this video is line up all the books so far, because it's been quite a few months um, since we had a look at the entire collection. And I'm going to show you uh, where we are right now in, in the whole scheme of things. So, we'll just, no no knife required, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, yeah, so these are the, the two books. Uh, we have issue 28 and issue 27. Both excellent authors, I have to say, first of all. This book here, Soul Hunter by Aaron Dembski Bowden. And then Priests of Mars by Graham McNeil. Um, I think I've read Priests of Mars. I don't think I've read Priests of Mars, so I'm really interested uh, to read that. I think that came out, well, I want to say a couple of years ago. We'll, we'll find out because they uh, conveniently um, put the date in the uh, in these books when they were first sort of published. So yeah, there's been a lot of content uh, over this week uh, for, the, for the channel and there'll be a lot of content over the next few weeks. So um, I'm really pleased to give you all this uh, content right now. So firstly, let's have a look at Soul Hunter. I'll read you the uh, preface or preface. Betrayed, cast from the Emperor's light and hunted as heretics, they are the rebels of the 41st millennium. Garbed in symbols of death, the Night Lords are remorseless hunters and killers. They will never repent for the blasphemies that saw them banished. They prey upon the dying Imperium, bringing death from the darkness between worlds. And terror is their most powerful weapon. So we've got a Night Lords specific um, novel here. Looks great. This one will set you back. 351 pages. That's a good, good size, good, uh, good chunk of a book there. Um, the artwork isn't directly in the middle. It's slightly odd, but uh, it is here. And then you've got here Soul Hunter, artwork by John Sullivan. Uh, I should remember to give you the date as well. So we've got here, I think 2010, uh, first pu published 2010, seven years old. Where does it stack up? Well, it's in the 41st millennium. So I just thought I'd uh, move the camera because it wasn't getting the whole book in, in shot. So yeah, 41st millennium, Night Lords revealed. Another Night Lord's uh, fantastic bit of artwork by uh, Mr. Gallagher. By Carl Kopinski. <laughs> Very sort of uh, Grim Reaper-esque. And a Chaos Terminator. Another Chaos Space Marine. Night Lords by Alex Boyd and Des Hanley. That's an old school one, I think. Chosen. And then we've got Blood Angels um, with Dante. Um, I think that was on the cover of one of the codexes, I think. So, yeah, uh, it looks like a great book. Good, uh, chunky book covering um, Night Lords. I'm assuming it also covers uh, Blood Angels because. They've got a bit of Blood Angels artwork. Priests of Mars, okay, by Graham McNeil. Uh, this one was published 2012, so actually five years ago. I do apologize, um, but I don't think I've read this one. Uh, this book will set you back 355 pages, so 
couple of pages more. I know it's not all about pages, but artwork, Caprice of Mars by Slawamir Maniac. That is the, uh, the front cover art. And again, it's in the 41st millennium. Priest of Mars Revealed. Look at that. Illuminations by John Blanche. Wow. Uh, I mean, that'll be the future, guys, won't it? Let's let's face it. Um, I, if you just walk down the street, look at so many people permanently connected to their phones and computers. We're, we're almost there. <laughs> um... Black Templar by Carl Kopinski and Skitari by Evan Amundsen. Andrea Aderzo. Lots of detail on that. Incredible. Farcia. Clint Langley. I do like all the uh, extra effects, the lighting effects. Proper light show. Wow, that's very sort of Geiger-esque, isn't it? For Will Rees. Very Geiger. Um, was that it? Yeah, that was it. So, uh, another fantastic book, uh, Priest of Mars by Graham McNeil. Um, can't wait to get into Priest of Mars, though, because uh, I didn't get that and uh, very interested to read more about Mechanicum and Skatari. So, now what I'll do is I'll go and grab all of the books in the collection and I'll just show you where we stand so far. Okay, and here we have 28 books. So, we are one year and two months into it, or 14 months. Yeah, two books uh, per month. So with 28, we're not halfway there. Um, if there are 80 issues, then we'll need 40 months. So we've still got another. So we still need uh, 52 issues, which equates to 26 more months or another two years and two months, uh, if my maths are correct. But right here, you've got 28 of... Uh, the issues, as I said, that's 14 months worth. If it's £20 a month already, that has cost £280 worth of books right there. Um, it is slightly annoying uh, that there's a an 01 rather than the 1. That is annoying, but uh, it is what it is. I mean, it'll look like an incredible piece of artwork once it's done um, once it's complete you can see some of them where there's like you can see 53 and 55 and then the 59 61 it's sort of grey knights and then you've got some uh, sisters and so on so yeah just to serve my point uh, let's just take a book at random now I think 13 or 14 will be uh, sort of chaos based so if we look at 13 Horus Rising brilliant uh, we'll look at, look at 14, false gods, even better. Uh, let's look at this. There's an imperial fist right there. And that one is Hell's Reach. I think imperial fists are in that one. A couple of imperial guard ones. This is an imperial guard. And that one, that one is 15 hours, which is the average lifespan of a guardsman on the front line. Anyway, so that just goes to serve my point that um, some of the spines do equate to the novels themselves. Now, what I would like Warhammer Collections to do is, at the end, produce like an extra bonus book that just has an index of all of the books. You know, all the numbers of the 80 books and the novel names and the authors and maybe even like a little preface, um, maybe. But... Um, yeah, that's what I'd like them to do, if they're able to. But as it stands, that's what the collection looks like at the moment. That's what the image looks like so far. It's coming together quite well. You've got, uh, at the very start, you've got the Ultramarines, and um, I think you've got uh, the Word Bearers there, and then you've got Chaos sort of undivided with uh, Abaddon. Um, then you've got some Space Wolves. Uh, and it looks like you've got possibly some Dark Angels, then maybe Raven Guard, maybe Imperial Fists, Imperial Guard, Commissar, uh, the Mechanicum, uh, Grey Knights, Storm of Iron. They've got to be Iron Hands, haven't they? Got to be. And then you've got sort of uh, some Inquisitorial Sisters of Silence, 
uh, things like that. So yeah, um, it's coming together quite well, but uh, yeah, we're not we're not even halfway there. I'll be doing another video, like a an update on this collection, probably I'd say February time if I pencil that in February because by February we'll have like another sort of 10 books and the collection will have grown by another third uh, or so. Um, stay tuned, I'll still be doing the uh, book uh, first looks every month uh, as soon as I receive them and that's in addition to any sort of new releases or, or any other videos I've got planned. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me today. Uh, thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.